Well, hello everyone. We made it out to our, one of our favorite camps here in the Green Swamp. We've been here a couple hours already. There's a little pond out here that we're camping next to. And there's a little setup over here where you can sit and look over the pond at the table and bench there. My brother-in-law's over there. And up in this little oak hammock here, We've got our hammocks up in there. I think, I hope you can see those up in there. We hiked out in here and took us a little nap. So, it's time now, it's about 12 o'clock. It's time to start making some kind of lunch. So over here in the little fire drum here that they provide, we're going to cook up a little something good to eat, right? Yeah, <laughs> of course, right? We are food driven men. Okay, so today we're gonna to be using the Czech Army mess kit for our lunch. Many of you guys have this kit. It's a very good one. And I thought I would do something a little different. I'm gonna make my version of the KFC mashed potato bowl. So I've got mashed potatoes. I've got some, uh, this is the only part I don't like, but it's what I have to deal with, canned chicken. And I've got, uh, where's all the rest of stuff? I have some other stuff in my pack, but some corn and some cheese and all that stuff. So we're going to get over to the fire here and get started. We're going to kind of play this by ear. I've never done this before. I'm going to guess I'm going to need about a cup and a quarter of water. So... keep from having to do a lot of filtering water and stuff I brought this thing although there is a lot of water out here okay there's a cup there and about a quarter I'm making a mess but that's okay okay and then it calls for some milk and some butter. But, so I decided I'll bring some uh, some of this dry milk. It calls for two thirds cup of milk, so we're just going to take a guess at this. Not sure how this is going to work out. We'll add a little bit of water to that and stir it up. Okay. Looks like milk. Get a spoon out here. Guess we could put a little bit more powder in there to make it more, more better, right? Creamier, maybe. Okay. All right, so then I have some margarine right here. I think what I'm gonna do is put this in here And then go heat it up over on the fire. Melt the margarine. Like that. Also, I've got Mexican corn. So I think I'll just stir that in along with the potato flakes. And this chicken. This chicken's already fully cooked, so I don't want to do too much with that. And then I've got some chicken gravy that we're going to put on that and some cheese. So let's get this thing over to the fire. Okay, so here's our fire. Kind of lay this stuff out here. All right. Jonathan's already got his canteen cup on there to 
make some coffee. And I'm going to set the little check mess kit right here. Something like that right there. Handle's going to get hot. Maybe I will move this. Like this. Put this stick back. And see if this will sit right in there. Maybe not get the, the handle so hot there. We'll see how that works out. Okay, so we're going to uh, start opening this stuff up. I love my P51 can opener. It's, the P51 is the larger one. The P38 is a more compact, smaller one. And uh, you can't beat this thing. Except with an electric can opener. <laughs> Mexican core. And voila, all done. <laughs> okay, let's take a look here. Okay, we are boiling. Take this off so it's easier for us to deal with it. The margarine and stuff all melted. So we're gonna add the milk I made there. Still some powdered stuff in there. Okay. Yeah, I know this is gonna throw off the ratio, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put the broth in there from the chicken. And then we're gonna add the Mexican corn. Okay. And I think we're gonna end up having to bring it back to a boil. I'll set it up here as soon as we find a level spot and set our lid back on it bring it back to a boil and Jonathan's got uh, he's added a can of soup here he's heating right up in the can and then the, like I said before this is coffee so we'll be right back whenever I get the uh, the water boiling again Okay, so we finally reached a boil here. So we're gonna take our instant mashed and try to add a good ratio so we can uh, get it kind of level there. And I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time and stir it in and see what happens. See what happens. Probably got enough to share here. <laughs> this has turned out to be bigger than I thought it was gonna be. If your soup don't turn out, Jonathan, I think we'll have plenty here. Starting to see some of the and come to the top. Let me see if I can zoom in here a little more. Oh! Came out more than I thought there. Hopefully that's not too much. That's getting better. Still a little soupy. Just a hair bit more. What do you think, Jonathan? Hair sounds good. Uh 
looks pretty close. Let's go ahead and take it off. All right. All this mashed potato and chicken goodness. We need to put some pepper and salt on it though. I like lots of pepper with my potatoes. And then some salt. Mmm. Let's turn this over. A little too bad. Don't look exactly like a uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. But I like buying that Mexican corn that has these red peppers in it. That's cool. So then we have to add the chicken gravy to it. Cue the music. Mm. Some chicken gravy on top. Colonel Sanders, please stand up. <laughs> now, let's get a little closer. Some cheese. Oh, let's put all of it on there, Jonathan. Oh. All the cheese. Oh. Okay. Some more of my YouTube fans are flying over. <laughs> we'll put the lid back on, let this cheese melt. And we'll plate her up. Okay, we've been waiting for the planes to leave, but I guess they ain't. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take some of this and share with Jonathan. And to finish it off, we can add some Texas peat. Okay, so. Look at all that chicken and corn goodness with cheese. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Is that good? Grab you one. Oh, no, I'll go put them in this. Okay, and then Jonathan brought some cornbread that he baked last night and rewarmed it up on the fire in the foil. So, there you have it. My version of the Colonel's mashed potato bowl. Jonathan says it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Pour me a little something to drink here. It's actually finger licking good. Had a little bit of a uh, Texas peat. Mmm. And some cornbread. So, thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed our little trip out here to the Green Swamp. And my little take on the uh, mashed potato bowl. So, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, please do so. I, I ask you, uh, just click on the screen and, uh, and and follow me. I do all kinds of uh, camp cooking videos like this, and also uh, military surplus videos. And every once in a while, I throw in a kayak fishing video. So, um, thanks very much, and I hope you have a good one.